Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Imran Ali Khan and my topic for today's lecture is Introduction to William Golding. It is seventh lecture. In our previous lectures, we already talked about To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. So, the learning outcomes of the today's class will be background about William Golding and the experiences which William Golding had and the events of the Second World War, introduction about Lord of the Flies, the inspiration which made William Golding to write this novel and the philosophical influence William Golding had. We will also narrate some facts about the novel and the main points about Lord of the Flies. So, at the end, William, William Golding's message. William Golding was a British novelist born on September 1911 and died uh, on 1993. His father wanted him to study science but William Golding was inclined towards literature. So after graduation he became a teacher and when the second world war started he joined British Navy that is the Royal Navy and he was also involved uh, in the pursuit and sinking of a German battleship named Bismarck. When the war ended, he joined his teaching profession and started to write. Uh, he earned a Nobel Prize in Literature in, in 1983, which made him most popular and influential writer among the British authors who emerged after World War II. Now, let's talk about the experiences or the world which Gold, William Golding knew. William Golding grew up in World War II, which lasted, we started from 1939 and ended in 1945. So the France of Fall also happened because the Germany captured France in 1940, and Britain, uh, due to this war, Britain feared an invasion, so they evacuated children to other countries. But in 1940, uh, an incident happened. Uh, in which a German U-boat was torpedoed and uh, uh, a British ship carrying children killing the boys, suspending the overseas evacuation program. Now, in 1939, a British joined France in war against Nazi Germany. In 1940, uh, witnessed the fall of France. In 1940, the fascist Italy joined the Axis with Germany. In 1941, uh, Japan attacks Pearl Harbor, which caused USA to declare war on Japan. So, 1941 marked the entry of US United States to the Second World War. In 1944, Dead in Armandy landing occurred. It is also an important event. Uh, in 1945, bombing of Dresden took place. In 1945, uh, atomic bomb dropped in Hiroshima, Hiroshima immediately killing uh, more than 80,000 people and uh, the final death toll raised to 1,35,000 people. In 1945, Europeans celebrated their victory in war. So, the background uh, to the Lord of the Flies the, is the situation in which war happened. So, about uh, writing Lord of the Flies, William Golding says that it, it was just simply what seemed sensible for me to write after the war when everyone was thanking God they weren't Nazis. I had seen enough to realize that every single one of us could be Nazi. So, what does it mean? It means that the nations, the individuals, the societies, which, which project themselves as to be the harbinger of justice and peace, actually, they are not the harbingers. They are also the complices. So, they have their own selfish nature and the manifestation of their selfish nature is uh, by creating rifts, by creating disorder in the affair of the society, in the affair of the world. And uh, the inspiration which uh, Gold, William Golding uh, received 
So once he allowed his class of boys and gave them a total freedom in a debate, but he has to, he had to intervene. Is a mayhem soon broke out. Men, people by nature, uh, men is by nature uh, selfish, is by nature prone towards chaos. So when the boys was given the liberty, so they uh, they they abruptly broke into chaos. They created chaos in the class. So he had to intervene. So what made him Golding wants to convey? For the smooth structure of society, for the smooth flow of life, it is necessary that there should be a law, that there should be a system that should control and regulate the individuals and the people. So his experiences in war is also another inspiration. Because in war, the dark side of human nature comes to forefront. In, in, an, in an ordinary environment, we have the system which controls humans. While in warfare, it is, the, it is the gun that controls, it is the power, it is the might that controls human beings. So, gun is used for destruction. Gun is used for destruction, for killing. So that also, uh, this experience also made William, William Golding realize that human beings are, by nature, they are prone towards evil. So whoever is having the power, whoever is having the authority, so that due to that power, possession of that power and authority, he will, he, he will try to crush others. He will try to dominate others. And uh, it, were, it was also, Lord of the Fly is also a critical response to Pearl Island by R.M. Valentini. Uh, another important inspiration is philosophical questions about human nature. Because philosophy is having uh, two aspects. On the one side it says that humans are good by nature. And the other bulk of philosophers says that humans are more humans are selfish by nature. <clears throat> the next point is the philosophical influence. William Golding derived his influence, philosophical influence, from John Hobbes. John Hobbes is an English philosopher. Uh, the basic tenet of his philosophy is that man is by nature selfish and individualistic. And man is due to this selfish and individualistic bent of mind. Man is constantly at war with other men. And this tussle between people because of selfishness. So that creates fear. And that make this fear makes them constantly busy in dominating others. So this fear of violence, this fear of violence, this fear of death is the sole motivation to create civilization. Because civilization is only created when there is a system who can control humans. So in other words, men need to be controlled by absolute sovereignty to avoid brutish behavior. Now, some facts about the Lord of the Flies. Though William, Gold, William Golding considered Lord of the Flies to be a good novel, but it failed to find publishers. It was rejected 21 times before it was published. And he succeeded in publishing this novel in 1954. It was not successful until the early 1960s. And in 1960s it got popularity as a great novel due to which the American Library Association put him, put this novel on the list of 100 most frequently challenged books of 1990s and 2000s. Now, coming towards Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is set in mid 1940s when Europe was engulfed by 
Second World War. A plane carrying British school boy is mistaken for military aircraft and is shot down. But luckily, the boys are the boys are saved. So the boys the boys who survive the crash they come to an island which is which is uninhibited by the humans. So in this island they try to form a society and try to govern themselves. Regarding the message which Goldim, Will William Golding wants to convey, or in other words, the theme of Lord of the Flies, according to William Golding, is to trace the defects of society and back to the defects of human nature. So, actually, Lord of the Flies is a criticism on society from from micro level to macro level. The boys they are equated from Britain to an island that there they will be safe. But in the island, when there is no parental authority, when there is no system to control them, so again they drift into anarchy and savagery. But when the same boys when they are rescued by the British naval officer in chapter 12 and he tells them that they will go back to England so there again there is threat for a threat of nuclear war so what William Golding wants to convey that there should be a system among individuals there, there should be system among societies there should be uh, there, there should be a system among the countries to regulate the affairs of the world in a peaceful manner and to give each one their due right, then we will be able to have a peaceful and blessed and blessed world. This was uh, all about uh, our today's lecture. Uh, thank you. See you in the next part of the lecture.